Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. I want to go ahead and do this week's shave. Um, it's been a little while since I used a vintage razor, so this is actually the case for the razor I'm using today. If you don't recognize it, that would be the Gillette Contract Tech. I actually have a new pack of the uh, blue blades in there, but I've never opened them and I actually don't plan on opening them. This one does have the the black metal handle as well as the, the top cap is black and the base plate is the uh, the steel. I'm going to go ahead and load that one up. I've got a, um, using the Gillette Platinums, I do have one of those. This is a, uh, a second use, so I know it's upside down, but a second use Gillette Platinum. I used it once on Friday, I haven't shaved since then, so I'm going on almost... Actually, I shaved last time on Thursday, for Friday. So I'm going on about three days of sh now without shaving. So you can see it, it's a little bit scruffy up there. Not too bad though. Um, put this thing together, um, really nice. Has a little bit of ex blade tab exposure, but not enough to be an issue. I haven't cut myself with one of those yet. I did cut myself the other day. I was wiping off wax dots from the center of the blade and I was, wi I was wiping out with the blade and actually the, the teeth on the inside, not the razor blade itself, the edge, but the inside, the teeth where it grabs around the posts, kind of went into my thumb, so I got a nice little battle wound there. This one, if I remember right, I've used it once before. It's a super, super mild shave, but still nice, not nice and efficient. I do like the profile on that, very, very thin head, so it gets right up, right up under the nose real, really easily, and it's not a problem at all. Holds the blade down really well. For these, I don't bother with a, a washer or a, a buffer ring. Just go ahead and use them as is. Soap I'm going to be using today is one I have used before. That would be Hendrix Classics and Company, the uh, the cornucopia. Sorry, covering it up there. Really, really nice scent. Um, it's a light brown. Um, as you can see, I do scoop. I scooped a little bit too much, so I put some back in before I smeared it into my bowl. Really nice scent. Um, I know it's not fall anymore, but I, I don't care. I like the scent anyways. Um, if I remember correct, it's a, a patchouli, cedar wood, and cinnamon. I get the patchouli, I get the uh, the cedar wood, not a ton of the cinnamon until you start until you start lathering it and put it on your face. But really nice, um, nice warm scent. I think it's good all year round. And I am using my uh, Rodak bowl. I know I've said it before, but the the bottom ring on these bowls is not glazed, so you can take that thing, hold it upside down, hold it sideways, do whatever you want to do. Hasn't been a problem with me. I have whipped up my lather already. So if you look at the lather, um, it's looking pretty good. Using that with the, the 24 millimeter Yachi brush with, with the, uh, the Timberwolf knot, a synthetic knot. And this bowl, I think I mentioned it last week, it does have a little bit of a rim in there. So you can actually work up your, lap, your lather like on its side and it doesn't tip out. Really nice. Um, Really exact, it was exactly what I was looking for when I, when I got this one. I was glad that Eric went ahead and made that modification on these and made that available, at least in a limited quantity. Again, I'll put a link to his website on the bottom. Look at the soap on that. Um, really nice, nice sheen on it. Not super wet. If I was going for a shave at shave, I'd go a little bit wetter, but just a double edge razor and go ahead and keep it a little on the thicker side. Not using appreciate today. I did just have my shower, so my face is nice and warm and had the nice warm water on it, kind of softened up a little bit. Go ahead and get that damp real quick. Try not to waste too much water, so I put the water in a spray bottle. Actually, that's water and um, the uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel with the uh, Rose. Again, that the scent on this soap is absolutely wonderful. I really like it. I don't really care so much about what season something is supposed to be for. I just care if I like it. And this one I definitely like. I don't have a ton of soaps. So I'm not going to be a soap snob and say I can only use this soap during the fall or only use this one during the spring. I use what I use because I like it. Let's see how quickly that goes on. No pre-shave at all, but still super thick, super comforting, very cushiony, and 
will provide a lot of protection for me. With this razor, I'm probably going to have to do a three pass shave because it is so mild, but that's okay. With this soap, I don't mind three passes at all. I actually like it because I get to smell it a little bit longer. All right, for those of you guys that have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Feel free to put them down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I try and get back within a day or two, but I'm going into a busy week, work week, so that might take me a couple days. Not a big deal though. All right, I do like to do my first one up in the front mirror. Sorry guys. So with that Gillette Platinum loaded in there, definitely not an aggressive razor, definitely not an aggressive shave. It's pretty efficient, does a good job, but I would not at all call this an aggressive shave. I do tend towards preferring the ones that are a little more aggressive. Like I do, I do really like the, the Sterling Hyper Aggressive Plate. Standard plate's good too. I do like the shave S. I've used those a couple times and I'm really starting to like those. Um, I mentioned before, I really kind of want to get into at least trying straight, straight razor shaving. Let's see how that is, see how it compares. I've heard that it's a little more forgiving than using a shave at. I do have both types of shave at. So I've got a shave at that uses a half DE blade and I have those with the folding style. Actually, I have three types of shave it. So I got two folding styles, two types of folding styles. One uses the half DE blade. And I do have a, a vintage Sexta blade. So I've got the vintage WEC that I don't have any Kismet blades on it. I haven't been able to find one of those that I kind of could get my hands on, but I did get some of the uh, the from um, hair shaper blades, so it's a uh, coated steel. And those are nice. I used it once already. Did a good job. I think if you see, look over here. It's not real obvious, but right over here, it, I did catch myself. I came in a little too aggressive. And end up cutting myself a little bit with the WEC. I also have a non folding style, the um, Feather Artist Club, the uh, SS. And I've shaved with that already on screen or on video. All right, first pass in the books. A little bit there. I mean, it, it's a super mild razor, so I, I don't expect to be super close. Quite a bit here. Cheeks are good. Underneath the neck isn't too bad. I could go to work like this if I had to. I'm not going to. It's Sunday, so I like to do my Sunday shaves. I like to go ahead and get them done. Not super early in the day, but around the four or five o'clock time frame, and we're somewhere in there right now. I actually didn't look at my watch to see what time it was, but I try and get as close to a shave as possible on Sundays. That way when I get to work on Monday, it's, it's still in good shape. Couldn't do that with a cartridge razor. Cartridge razors, you have to shave that morning. You really can't shave the night before, at least I never could. I mentioned before when I was in the Navy, I was in boot camp, I had to actually shave twice a day. And we had, that was cartridge razors then. But I did get permission to have an electric razor, so I had one of the uh, brawn electric razors that I would shave with halfway through the day. In other words, there's no way I could pass inspection. All right, less enough lather for the second pass. Go ahead and get the razor a little bit wet. Real light pressure on this one. I don't like to use a lot of pressure for any of my razors. I mean, I guess if I did a little bit more pressure, it might be a little bit more efficient. But then I'd also open myself up to more skin irritation. And I'm not about having that. There's no reason for that. 
if I can do a good shave in three passes. Maybe a little bit of touch up, then I'm fine with that. I always have a little bit of problem with that Adam's apple area. You can hear not a ton of feedback, but there's enough feedback to let me know I'm doing a good job. My hair kind of swirls on my neck down here, so there really is no such thing as a with the grain, against the grain, and across the grain. I just do it top to bottom, a side to side, and a bottom to top. I don't do that under the nose in the mustache area. I just do this top to bottom and side to side. There's a reason that the straight razor guys call that the the fool's pass to go up underneath the nose. So I'm not going to try that. Soap smelling absolutely wonderful. Really getting the cinnamon right now and then the uh, patchouli but very, very pleasant. I like this one. It leaves the bathroom smelling good for the rest of the day. So even when I go to bed tonight, I'll still be able to smell it here in the bathroom. Still a ton of soap left. I used just a tiny, tiny bit, but I mean, that, the brush is fully loaded and I've still got a ton down in there in that bowl. I could probably do easily five, six passes probably. I don't know how well my face would handle that, but I got plenty of soap to do it. I don't save my lather for the next day. I mean, I've heard of some people to go ahead and, oh, look, soap in my glasses. Some people actually just let the soap dry out, both in the brush and in the bowl, add a little bit of water the next day and go ahead and shave with it again. I, I don't do that. I don't like the idea of it just sitting there. But what I will do is after the shave is over, I'll do the alum, make sure my face is good. And sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll scoop up the rest of the lather with my hands and I'll wash my face down. But I'll wash my face, my forehead, everything. Go ahead and get the benefits of that so, so slick and get, the, get it into the skin and let my whole face kind of benefit from having that. But I'll do that sometimes instead of wasting the lavender down, the lather down the drain. Not much feedback, I got most of it. Actually, I might've been able to do a two pass shave. Wasn't trusting myself, but it looks, it looks pretty good. This is definitely one of those razors that I can pretty much autopilot with. I don't think I've cut myself with one of these yet. Can't like that and the uh, the super speeds. The text and the super speed are so mild that I haven't cut myself with them. Not really, unless I was really nice not paying attention or I already had a bump on my skin. I do have a mole over here that I have cut a couple of times. But that's not the razor's fault. Most of the safety bar razors with little, the very small blade caps, such as this one, I don't have to worry about that at all. Because it's just the safety bar put, holds it out of the way, prevents me from cutting it. Next week, I'm actually going to be doing, as long as everything works out, I'll be doing a uh, online with 
Smiles for Miles. I'm doing the, the shave line NBD. So I'll be doing that on Instagram. I don't know if I'll film my shave next week, but I will be doing that. Look forward to hanging out with him. I've seen his lives and I've seen his videos, but I've not really talked to him person to person yet. That'll be kind of fun. A little longer shave than my last couple shaves just because I had to do three passes. But it feels great. I love this razor. I, again, I could, this is a, one of those razors I could just put any blade in and take it to my face and not have to worry about it. Just shave on autopilot. Get my face rinsed off real quick. I don't think I need any touch up today. Everything feels good. A little bit here. Not bad though. That's a little better. All right, a really nice shave for me. Um, definitely a, mu a, much, a much more mild razor than I'm used to using on my Sunday shaves, but still a really good shave. Like I said before, any questions you guys have, go ahead and put them in the comments. We'll go ahead and read those and check those out. I'm gonna go ahead off after the shave. I got so much soap. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash my face down with the, with the lather before I took take it to the alum and then the aftershave. I think I'm gonna be using today's aftershaves. I'm gonna use one of my exact absolute favorites and I think it goes well with this one. That'd be the Club and Pinot or Club, Club and Pinot, the Whiskey Woods. It's a lot more of a smaller bottle, but it's absolutely one of my favorite ones. All right, been, been out 17, 18 minutes already. So I'll let you guys go. Have a great week, great shaves the rest of the week and I'll see you next week on Shave Line with Smiles for Miles.